Giacchetti, head of communications for all of our car, our, all of our car product for uh, Ford North America. So we're excited to have you, and hopefully you've got some ice cream while you're uh, joining us today. One thing that's been um, a great legacy and a great partnership with Ford has been our partnership with the UAA, the Experimental Aircraft Association. And one of the cars that we've built, and we've built quite a few now, um, is the Eagle Squadron behind you. And to tell you more, I want to welcome one, Long Gitt Jr., world champion, drifter, and founder of RTR Vehicles. Welcome. It's going on, everybody. Good afternoon. Beautiful, beautiful day out here in Michigan. Really happy to be here and uh, very uh, proud to have uh, been a part of this. You know, for the last 11 years, Ford has been a big partner of EAA and Air Venture and everything that, that they do. And uh, they've built a, a vehicle for charity every year. And uh, this year, we are fortunate, my, my RTR Vehicles company and I were fortunate enough to have a really cool collaboration with the Ford Performance team. Uh, where we, you know, we dreamed up this thing, we worked very closely together, built it, and had a lot of fun with it. And today, uh, I'm, I'm very honored and uh, privileged to give the new owner, uh, Braden Williams, uh, his uh, you know, the keys to his new car. And uh, but first, I want to you know tell you a little bit about this car. Um, you know, this is the 11th vehicle that, that Ford has built, and this vehicle, uh, in those 11 years, Ford has raised about four million dollars to uh, support the Eagle, uh, the Young Eagles charity, which is basically uh, gives aspiring pilots the opportunity to fly. Um, and this car, on its own, there's 420,000 of that, so it's a big honor uh, for us to, to be a part of this. Um, you know, you can see there's some amazing cars that that, that they built and, and auctioned off in. Um, but you know, starting off, you know, this thing is 700 horsepower. Uh, Ford Performance Supercharger. Um, this thing has a, you, know, you see the wide body, obviously it's very aggressive. The, um, this whole livery, you know, everything about this car was inspired by the Eagle Squadron. The livery is, is based off of Spitfire. And you know, you guys are, well, what is Eagle Squadron? Well, the Eagle Squadron is a group of very brave American men that were not trained fighter pilots, they were civilian pilots who volunteered to go and fight with the British uh, during World War II. So this year marks the 100th year of the Royal Air Force, and obviously the Eagle Squadron flew with them. So this is a tribute to them. Everything about this car was inspired by the Spitfires that the Eagle Squadron flew. So the very you know aggressive livery, we took that, you know, not directly from a plane, but very much inspired by the planes that they flew. Um, as far as the build, everything on this car is is touch. Um, like I said, 700 horsepower, four performance supercharger with a warranty. Is it ridiculous when you get 700 horsepower car from the warranty these days? Um, you know, the wide body, 50 millimeters in the front on each side, 70 millimeters, uh, 75 millimeters in the rear on each side, carbon fiber wide body, uh, RTR, Aero 7, custom forged wheels, two-piece forged wheels. You can see a lot of the aero uh, that we put on the car. Again, very airplane inspired. Um, the you know, integrated lighting that we have. Moving on to the interior, everything again, inspired by the Spitfire. Uh, all the colors, you know, we worked hand in hand with the Ford Performance Design Team. Every material, all the way down to the stitching of the car was hand um, You know, we, we went through everything just very meticulous. Uh, it's got a rear seat to lead. Uh, some of the Eagle Squadron uh, logo brought into the interior as well. And uh, two of my favorite pieces of this car uh, are in the interior. We have a one of one badge, and this is a one of one car. There will never be one of these, another one of these built. And the badge that is just in front of the passenger seat uh, is a one of one Eagle Squadron badge. It's actually made from the wing spar of a Spitfire. We had it cut machine to fit perfectly and handle it. Really, really cool uh, piece. And the touch point, you know, where you put your hand on the shifter, uh, and which has the shift pattern, is a piece of aluminum from an F-35 fighter jet. So, do any of you have any F-35 fighter jet parts in your car? I don't either. Um, so yeah, this is, is, it's been an absolute honor. It is a really cool collaboration. You know, we have some of the Ford design team over here, and, and it's just amazing to work with them. And we're so much on the same page with this thing. We wanted to, to honor it and um, you know have fun with the build, 
but the fun didn't stop with the build. You guys just saw the video, but we built this car in very quick turnaround, flew it to the UK, to Goodwood, where the Spitfires uh, flew out of, you know, where these pilots flew out during World War II. It was united with the Spitfire, we did some photo shoots, we did some video stuff, and of course I was fortunately had to have fun and uh, broke it in. Not necessarily by the book, but the way I like to break in cars, and believe me, Mustangs can handle it, so I wasn't scared. Um, and, uh, you know, I got buzzed by a Spitfire, like 30 feet. You know, I can't even explain to you what that feels like, but it will never feel normal. It just vibration through you, and, you know, it was uh, maybe very scared for the Germans back in the day having those things come at them. So, uh, but, um, yeah, in general, this has been an, an absolute epic project. Sorry. Back to, back to the UK. We uh, <clears throat> then took it to Goodwood Festival Speed. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's one of the most epic bucket list events for motorsports enthusiasts. And I get to drive this up the Duke of Richmond's driveway like a maniac. And that's kind of how we revealed this car for the first time to the public. And uh, so yeah, then it flew to Oshkosh, where we had an auction, it's where we met Braden and his family, and it was probably one of the most exciting auctions I've ever been to because he was going back and forth with another buyer, and they were giving each other a look, pointing at each other, and it was it was really really exciting and fun, and obviously uh, obviously for a very cool cause. Um, we have a video to show you a bit more detail about the build, and uh, we're gonna bring Braden up here and give him the keys to his car.